Hey everyone and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I forgot to film an intro to this video, but basically in today's video, I'm showing you guys my nighttime routine for fostering kittens. And this is going to be a voiceover, so it's a bit, the video is a bit different than what I normally film. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mia. I'm a 12 year old who fosters kittens and currently I am fostering a mom and babies. So this video is going to kind of be about that me fostering them um what i do but basically i make content here on youtube i also have a tiktok and instagram which i'll try to link down below but anyways without further ado let's get started with today's video a big part of fostering that you don't really think about or at least for fostering kittens or mom and babies is you have to scoop the poop so often so i try to do it every single night which doesn't always happen but I have to, especially with Spooky. So in this clip, you'll just see me scooping Tinker's litter box. And then in the next clip, you'll just see me scooping Spooky's litter box. If you have a cat or foster kittens, you probably know that if you leave the poop bag in the room, then it'll make the room stink, so you have to throw it out right away, which I make sure to do every single time I scoop the litter box. Right after throwing out the poop, I always make sure to wash my hands just to get off all the bacteria and everything that gets on your hands after scooping the poop and touching the garbage can. After that, I just fed pineapple, gave Tinker some food, also some water since he was out. Then I gave Spooky her wet food, which I gave her a quarter of a can in the morning and also at night. After that, I gave Spooky some dry food because mom cats do eat a lot. I also made sure to give her some more water because it looked like she needed more. And then I went downstairs, washed, rinsed out the can, recycled that, and then washed everything else so that I would have it for tomorrow. After that, I washed the cat laundry since it was full and it needed to be washed. Then since my clothes had just been washed, I unloaded them from the dryer and then later I brought them upstairs. After that, I just got ready for bed by redoing my hair, brushing my teeth and washing my face. Before I headed upstairs, I grabbed a glass of water. After that, I made myself some breakfast for tomorrow. I made some chia seed pudding with three tablespoons of chia seeds, one cup of vanilla rice milk, and half a tablespoon of maple syrup. Then I mixed everything up and popped it in the fridge for overnight. Then I remembered to water my avocado plant, which I don't usually remember, but 
this night I did. Then I brought Pineapple upstairs into my room for the night, which he didn't really want to come in because of spooky. I ended up kicking Pineapple back out so that I could wave the kittens. Then I let him in afterwards. But as you see, there was Opal. And then we have Julia. Also Wilbur and Little Miss Ivy. Anyways, that was the end of today's video. If you liked it, you can give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!